Jesus! <laughs> this whole culture memo, but I did get the chance to meet up with the GW Graham Music Program, who just killed it at the Kiwanis Music Festival. Okay. But they couldn't do it without their favorite music director, Janine Webster, or as the students called her, Webby. Graham Music Program. Recently, these students took part in the Kiwanis Music Festival, where they took home first in every division. But they couldn't have done it without the leader of the pack, their favorite music director, Janine Webster. Well, I tell the kids they're like clay. And from that, then we can make an end product, an artistic end product, which is great. And you can have like really lumpy clay, and it doesn't quite work, it doesn't quite make the stuff that you want to make and or you can have really nice clay and they're really nice clay like they're palatable they're they're good quality clay so this has been an amazingly good good group of clay this year <laughs> not only has janine made these students into young music stars she's also instilled the passion that lies beneath that band is absolutely like it's a huge learning experience it helps you connect both your left and right brain so your thinking becomes a lot faster, like you can you can make connections a lot easier. It's really helpful in like all aspects of life. Like the connections that you make in music are really almost strong like familial bonds, like like you're all a family and that kind of idea. As sweet and caring as Janine is, all great teachers must have a stern side. But that is exactly how Janine creates such an amazing work ethic and bond from her students. She's been the greatest mentor someone could ask for. Um, she pushes you for sure. She pushes you like crazy, but the thing is, I feel like we wouldn't be where we are right now without her. She pushes you to the point where you don't think you can go, and then she gives you these crazy hard pieces, and we don't think we can play them, but she works you through it, and by the end of it, you're so proud of yourself, and she makes you a better person. It's very rare to find people who create a career with the thing that makes them tick, but that is exactly why Janine got into teaching, with the hope that the kids that she teaches will do the exact same thing. I can't imagine my life without music, and I had a most magnificent music teacher that I just adored. His name was Dick Dickens. He has since passed away, but I told him, I said to him, you were the reason why I became a music teacher. And he passed it on to me, so I want to pass it on to other kids, because I just can't imagine my life without music. It's a huge part of my life. It enriches it way beyond anything I can ever imagine. So I want them to be able to feel that as well. And enriching she does. Janine has influenced more young minds than she knows, all who will move on to be exceptional in whatever they choose to do. I want to be a music teacher at the high school level. She and the other music teacher have kind of like taken me under their wing, it's just kind of given me a whole lot of like feedback, ideas of what I need to do. The students are just amazing. Like I am so lucky to be able to work with these students, but I feel like they're my own kids and every time they move off and they graduate, it's like, piece of me gets ripped out and it's more than just music like Ali said it's a family the music is how we get together and we we work together on producing the music and we serve the music and we serve the composers but we build relationships through it and that's what makes it so exciting and interesting at GW Graham in Chilliwack I'm Alexandria McFarland for Go on Shaw TV